as 70%. Veteran Brazilian diplomat Marcos Assambuja says he's not surprised a major free trade deal between the European Union and the Mercosur trading bloc has been put on hold again. The trouble is we've been negotiating for more than 20 years. Some Europeans countries don't want us in. Brazil is a major agricultural power. We produce a lot of things which compete with their products. We are also a major exporter of commodities. So Brazil is an uncomfortable partner in many ways. And there is reluctance by some countries in Europe which rely heavily on subsidized agriculture and having Brazil in sight. Brazil's president Lula da Silva was clearly pushing for an agreement before Mercosur critic Javier Milei is inaugurated as president in Argentina this month. Nevertheless, Asambuja is confident Milei will not act on his threats to withdraw from the trade bloc. Let's give him a little time. Let, the man is not even on the saddle yet. On the 10th he will take office. So I hope that we will be able to uh, make common sense prevail. If ratified, the EU-Mercosur agreement would open a tariff-free market to 780 million consumers, making it the largest such treaty in the European Union history. As Ambunjo says, he's unsure so, uh, if a deal will Brazil ever get done. Uh, we came very close to an agreement. Then the European side came with a side letter of intention saying, we want further guarantees. We want, if you don't do this, and the Amazon will. Uh, we are negotiating it. Then there is a change in government in Argentina. So when you go and says, to negotiate bilaterally is difficult. To negotiate multilaterally, group of countries, group of countries, is particularly difficult because each one is living a moment, and the moment is not symmetrical. As Ambuja believes Mercosur will continue to serve a purpose, and that trade relations, especially between the two largest economies in South America, Brazil and Argentina, will remain robust. What I think is very important is that Argentina and Brazil have the other, one has the other, as the virtually most important market for its industrialized products. We sell commodities all over the world. So does Argentina. But we only sell industrialized goods to each other. Mercosur is expected to sign a free trade agreement with Singapore this week, and Bolivia is set to join as a full member. But as Ambuja says, challenges remain. Brazil and Mercosur need to modernize their patterns of action, to become associated with our areas, to become part of the game in a global sense. Lucrecia Franco, CGTN, Rio de Janeiro.